Any musician who leaves home to perform spends an inordinate amount of time doing stuff that's not at all glamorous. Traveling to venues, setting up gear, Here we go. doing sound checks. But for Lee Urban and Shannon Allen, the payoff is immeasurable. Once a month, they get together in Scarborough to play at the Gosnell Memorial Hospice House. Sorry, try it again. The people here for hospice care are at the end of their lives. They have just days, maybe hours, to live. And Rob, there's no other way to describe it. It is a um, very spiritual experience for Shannon and myself. I don't know how to explain it, but when you're here, you, you, you connect right away into what's going on. Lee and Shannon are volunteers. They've played at the hospice house once a month for about three years, outdoors occasionally, indoors most of the time. On this day, no one receiving hospice care is well enough to come outside. But the windows to their rooms are opened, and the residents hear. They definitely hear. When Urban and Allen started performing here, they had a good idea of what they should play, songs that were soothing, calming, and they also knew what music they'd avoid. Me particularly being, you know, once a lawyer, always a lawyer, I want to be very PC, don't want to get into the religious part or anything like that, because there may be people who, not right now, please. No sooner had we started. Um, do you know the old rugged cross? Oh yeah, we can get, how about abide with me? Oh sure. They're all hymns, which again, I think is very telling. The instrumental pairing is an odd one, a cello and a ukulele. But it works for the employees, caregivers, relatives, and the dying. And just knowing that you're not alone, that there are people out there with you on this journey, um, even though they don't know you, uh, it's huge. I really feel like I am trying to reach out even more to make sure they hear, not by playing louder, but just maybe by just playing more softly, more thoughtfully. On one occasion, a woman asked Lee and Shannon to perform right outside the room where her mother was near death. We went down, got to do this right. The woman asked them to play a song that she and her mother used to sing together. The daughter came out and she said, my mother hasn't moved her face muscle for days. And when I was singing that song, she smiled. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Even in the last hours of life, music touches something deep in the soul. Uh, as I'm speaking now, uh, my voice is starting to crack. That's how powerful it is. In the end, it's two men with a cello and a humble ukulele helping people find peace in a time that waits for all of us.